Hey y'all, it's Kirsten. So today I decided to just play on makeup since we all stuck in the house anyway. Um, and I just wanted to make a video about it and I just feel like posting it. So uh, I did create this look. I even got the hoodie on, don't ask about the hoodie. It cost a lot of money and I was supposed to wear it for my birthday, but it never came and then it came two days after my birthday. So I'm wearing it now. So this is uh, <laughs> my Beachella uh, look. If you would like to see how to get this look, keep on watching. So I just wanted to start off by showing you guys that I did my eyebrows off camera. I just filled them in with this pencil. I probably got it from CVS. Can't remember. It was literally a dollar. But um, then I'm going to go in with my James Charles X Morphe palette. Um, I love this palette. I literally just bought it. And I'm going to start off by using an eye primer on your eyelids. Just so the color when you apply the eyeshadow can be really pigmented. Okay, so starting with eyeshadows, I'm just going to take this small blending brush from the Morphe collection and dip that into this hot pink color. It's very pretty. Um, the name of it is Skip. And um, I'm going to take Skip and just put that into my crease and also into the outer corner of my eye. Just kind of making like a V shape on your eye and blending that out. And I'm going to really pack that on there because I want the color to be really pigmented and that pink is going to show. <laughs> um, and next here, I'm just bringing that up a little bit more just because I want it to be a little higher. Um, not too high, but high enough. All right, this is the color I was using. Now I'm going to take this magenta color um, using the same brush, same brush. Um, just putting that really into the crease to deepen up the color. The name of that shade is Love That. Um, and it's like a magenta pink, like I was saying. Just really blend that in. Blend, baby, blend. <laughs> Next, I'm going to take this whitish yellow color in the color Tune um, and just pat that on into the center of my eyelid just because I want the next color I use to be really pigmented. So pat that on right in the middle um, at the bottom of your eye. Next, I'm taking the shimmery gold color. The name of it is so good. <laughs> and just patting that in the center of my eye. And also in my inner corner. So the color that I'm using now is this artistry color. It's kind of um, like a iridescent purple. And I'm just putting that right at the edge where the yellow begins and the pink stops. Right in the middle of those two. Um, that's the color right there. And take that and blend, blend, blend. I really can't stress enough the importance of blending the eyeshadows so that there are no harsh lines. I don't always know what I'm doing, but I kind of know what I'm doing. Um, so that's just finishing off the eyes. And next we're going to go in with foundation. I've already primed my face. and I'm going to use this Fenty Beauty foundation. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's in the color 400. I promise I'm not flicking you off. That's just how I apply things. Um, so go ahead and blend that in with a brush or a beauty blender. They both um, can give you a flawless finish. Make sure you blend down to your neck, shorty. Next, I'm going to be taking this NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette and using the second to lightest shade um, to highlight my face.
and using the darkest shade as a contour. I'm just putting it on with my fingers, guys. Just the fingers. Next, go ahead and dampen that beauty blender and just blend it out. Still blending and blending and blending. Now I'm taking this Airspun Loose Face Powder. It was $8, girl, at CVS. Um, and I'm just gonna put that right up under my eyes and anywhere else that I highlight it. This is the color Naturally Neutral. I'm not big on the whole baking thing, so I usually just let that set for a minute or two and then sweep it all away. Now I'm taking this Smashbox um, contour palette and I'm just going to use the bronzer in there. Not a lot, but just enough. And now, I'm just going to take this MAC Studio Fix Powder just to set it all in. This is the color NC47. Same thing. Um, using the same Smashbox palette, but this time for the blush. I don't like a lot of blush, but enough. And that was way too much. <laughs> I'm so dramatic, but next I'm going to be taking this Killua highlighter by Rihanna Fenty Beauty. That would be a trophy wipe. Um, this shade is honestly so pretty. I was so mesmerized by it. I wanted it for such a long time, but it's so very pigmented. So just watch out, girl. Now I'm gonna apply these foaming lashes. They were three bucks, three at the beauty supply. Almost done, guys. I'm just gonna take this brown NYX lip pencil and apply that. I couldn't decide what I wanted the lips to look like, so the first lip combo I tried was this matte lipstick in testosterone and coating it on top with this Taraji P. Henson just pink lip. I didn't really like it that much though. Um, I just kept applying to see if the color would change at all. This lip was really pretty, it's just not really what I was going for for this look, so I'm just going to use this BB lip gloss in the color Lotus, still with the mauve brown lip liner on. And my mom was complimenting me on my makeup. <laughs> now that the lip is right, I'm just missing one more thing. There we go. And now I'm just going to set my makeup with this Urban Decay D Slick Setting Spray. So 
y'all, this is how the look came out, you guys. I'm very excited about it. I'm, like I said before, I really don't know what I'm doing, but I kind of know what I'm doing. So I just was experimenting today and I think it came out really cute. You guys can let me know what you think about it and you can actually do it yourself if you want. If you got any critiques, show me before you tell me because if you can't do it, we'll make you think I'm going to be able to do it and I just want to know. So, um... I, I hope you guys like this video. You can tell me or not. But yeah, so I'll see you guys again and bye.